Hello everyone and welcome to Usitility. Today we are going to see how to play the Eminence in Shadow RPG on PC using the brand new Bluestacks 5, that is designed for blazing fast speed and high octane action. We will be able to easily download and install the Eminence in Shadow RPG and enjoy the game on our Windows PC with keyboard, mouse and big screen thanks to Bluestacks 5, which is the Android emulator that we recommend to play the Eminence in Shadow RPG. So without further ado, let's get to it. First of all folks, to get started we need to launch our favorite browser. We open the one we use by default. Let's go to this URL that I have highlighted in green color. Now, you can discover on the PC screen. There is no need to type that URL, simply because I added a clickable link in the video description and as well in the first main comment. We ended up here on our own website of Usitility, where we include an in-depth description on the best way to download and install the Eminence in Shadow RPG on personal computer. We search down a tad and mouse click on the download game on PC button. Once clicking on that link, we land here on the website of Bluestacks. No panic, it is only the Android emulator that we will load to enjoy the game The Eminence in Shadow RPG on the PC. It is now obvious that we access a great deal of pros of using that emulator. So we will proceed to download the The Eminence in Shadow RPG by clicking on this button play on Bluestacks that you can see here in green. The step is clicking on the button and the download action starts and ends immediately. Voila, here is located the download. It's a file we have to execute. The following step is to launch the executable file. Okay, then we need to click on this file. If we are on Windows 10 it will have asked us for permission to make changes to the laptop or device. We clicked yes. I minimized the browser to see the installer significantly better. The installer is uncomplicated. It consists of two choices, install and setup path. I am going to make it clear what setup path actually does. We simply just simply click on it. And so we see that we display here the path where in fact the emulator will be placed. If we plan to change this folder we are required to click on this browse option and therefore we choose another folder and install the emulator precisely where we like. To keep it simple, just keep it as it is. I simply click on back and I pick install. Now, there it is. The install commences and it will proceed in the download of those megabytes that happens to be shown on this computer screen. After you save it on your hard drive, it is likely to be more or less MB. The data transfer speed could go at a higher speed or at a lower speed, determined by your connection and depending on the performance of the emulator web servers. Right now they're progressing super fast. The download is finished, and now it proceeds with the installation phase. With Bluestacks 5 you can even reduce RAM usage with a single click especially useful if you ever face performance related problems. In addition, you can activate eco mode to enjoy 87% reduced CPU usage, 97% reduced GPU usage and easier multitasking. As you can see, Bluestacks 5 is built to provide stability and performance during long gaming sessions. The installation has already finished for me. Now, the emulator has actually been launched automatically. As you can see, down here, there is a progress bar which will move forward to the right and when it comes to the ending, the emulator is started for the first time. In reality, the emulator has already been launched, here for the first time. Before we continue, as you can discover, it has created two software icons here on the computer desktop. The Bluestacks and Bluestacks multi-instance. Note that the Bluestacks app icon is definitely the only one we're focused on. Anytime we need to start the Eminence and Shadow RPG on our desktop or laptop, we double-click this specific software icon and therefore use the emulator. The Bluestacks multi-instance icon allows you to launch multiple emulator instances. And with Bluestacks 5's new improved multi-instance manager in eco mode, players can run more game instances faster and with less lag. Let's do the next step, which is actually a requirement, and that is to visit the Google Play Store. And we will click on Play Store. As you can discover the Google Play is presented. In this case we have to sign in. At this moment when we are on this page, we must definitely do this next phase that is absolutely mandatory. So that we just click on, sign in. Now it announces, checking info. It can sometimes get blocked in, checking info, additionally it does not continue. If so, you can try to connect to your account after a couple of hours and it will most probably be corrected. Now we shall enter our email and password. The email must be a Gmail email as well as its matching password. As an example you make use of the very same email address you are using currently in your YouTube account. So that I am going to provide my info and I'll go back after I have accomplished it. Voila, data entered. Here is Google welcoming us and presenting us their terms of service. We must say yes to all of them by simply pressing, I agree. 
Next, it allow us to backup to the Google Cloud. You can let it select it and it will generate a backup of your data files on that device to Google Drive. I won't check it, you can use that option if you prefer. We click on Accept. Google Play is launched by default and on autopilot. To set up the game, we would need to get to the emulator desktop for Android by left-clicking the app icon designated in green. At present that we are on the desktop of that emulator for Android, we see that we have right here the install app button. We click or double click on this button. Listed here we have the game. So let's simply click now on the install button that I'm just showing now in green color. That click will start the installation. Now it is going to install the Android game. It could take a bit of time or perhaps it may just be very fast. It again all depends on the web connection. It's as of now completed setting up. It's time to go back to the emulator desktop by clicking on the following button that I am emphasizing in green, that allows you to launch the Eminence and Shadow RPG for the very first time. We are presently on the emulator desktop, and we're going to mouse click on that new the Eminence and Shadow RPG software icon which was generated. The game is launched for the first time on your device. So there we have it, I am able to press anywhere on the screen and also make use of the keyboard. I will talk about the sound level of the emulator. It is right here. We have got the icon of higher volume and the icon of lower volume. This manner we don't count on the Microsoft Windows volume to increase or decrease the music of the emulator. And also to enjoy the experience to the fullest, we can switch on the large monitor, for which we have two alternatives. This one is the very first one. We mouse click on this software icon which I'm designating in green color. Thus the screen is maximized, enjoying one border at the top, one on the right side and one at the bottom. In case we aspire to launch the game in full screen, we hit this particular icon. And we might without a doubt be enjoying the game in 100% screen setting. To exit the complete screen functionality, hit the F11 key. And consequently we would undoubtedly currently be in normal display screen setting. At present, I am going to explain you the keyboard mapping which is definitely rather interesting. That strategy we will probably be in a position to make use of the game far more easily. The very first thing is to mouse click this app icon. It's now time to make the recommended controls. I will let the normal settings, though if you require to adjust that, you can do so without any problem. Perhaps you have realized, the emulator is completely in our language. Sometimes it occurs that your emulator is launched in the erroneous language, for instance, in Japanese. And consequently to set it up in the right language we browse here to the cogwheel. And right here throughout other settings, we mouse click on the language drop down. We will decide on the language we need, German, Mandarin, and so on. After the language is decided, we would save, the emulator will restart, as well as the video game, next time we start it, will of course be in the picked language. At this moment, there is another detail that we have to take into consideration, and it is that we will get a message from Google telling that a different equipment has been associated with our Google account. It will definitely question us if we are the people who have connected that electronic device. Of course, we ought not be troubled, considering that the emulator is acting as an Android smartphone or tablet. And to identify which device is being emulated, we go right here, to the cogwheel and we just click on it. Be sure you go here to the, model, selection. And here we see that the emulator is simulating a Samsung mobile. And so we're going to receive an email saying that a new Samsung device has been connected to our Google account. That's all folks, so much for the video user demo. I sincerely hope you liked it, especially that everyone thought it was handy. If so, bring it a good thumb up, subscribe, and any remarks, requests or ideas, let them in the comment area below. Just click on any of those training videos that happens to be appearing on the screen and see you in the upcoming online videos. Bye.